The third problem with lectins is that they interfere with the absorption of nutrients. The nutrients that they most affect are calcium, iron, zinc, phosphorus, which is really why lectins are considered anti-nutrients. Now, I want you to take a look at most nutritional supplements, especially related to the gut. What do they contain? They most always contain zinc. Why? Because zinc helps repair the gut barrier. So if you continue eating these foods, creating a zinc imbalance that can slow down any efforts in healing the gut barrier. Now, the fourth problem with lectins is that lectins can also alter our gut bacteria or cause intestinal dysbiosis. Lectins can basically strip away the mucus layer of the gut, exposing the mucus to bacteria, yeast, parasites. And this disruption in the mucus layer, this dysbiosis, once again, contributes to gut inflammation and intestinal dysfunction.